What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to you guys about what's been going on here in North Carolina. Uh, I'd, I'd hope everyone's pretty familiar about what's going on in Florida. It's been on the news. US has been posting about it. And if you aren't following them, make sure you do so. Um, they keep us pretty up to date on what's been going on, what's been happening, and all the good information uh, in terms of reptile laws and whatnot. But I want to talk a little bit about what's been happening here in North Carolina. Um, as of August 1st, 2022, uh, North Carolina enacted a restricted species list. Um, it's essentially a ban of certain species, restricted species. And unfortunately, the reason why we're chilling in here in Hades enclosure is because the Argentine black and white tegu, their hybrids, their color morphs, is on that list. Uh, Salvatore Marinet, I want to say that is how you say it. I might be butchering that last part but oh well um so i want to talk about the permit a little bit um it is pretty straightforward which is pretty awesome and we got it um but here it is it is uh by the north carolina wildlife resource commissions uh ncwrc we had to send in a ten dollar fee for the permit the permit is only good to the end of the year, so I'm assuming we're going to have to renew the permit each year, which is fine. As long as we are pre-approved for it, we are all set with that. We just have to submit a few bucks here and there to be able to keep them. But like I said, it's pretty straightforward. I will post a photo of the permit up on the screen, but we're going to go over it real quick. Uh, type of permit is private, and I, I believe you can have this for private, for educational facilities, for zoological facilities, and pet stores. I do not have an LLC, nor am I a zoological facility. I would love to be able to do educational stuff with him and with all of my animals. However, I don't know the best way to go about that just yet. I don't know if uh, YouTube would be considered an educational entity or if I have to be a physical institution or what they define institution as. I did a little bit of research in this and they kept using institution and I haven't been to find a whole lot of information on what they consider an institution, whether it has to be physical, if it is an entity, or if it can be uh, like an educational tool like YouTube or other videograph uh, videography type stuff. So we still gotta do a little bit of research into that and we'll see how that goes. I will keep you updated on that. But here's the permit. I have a private type of permit. Um, species authorized is the Argentine black and white tegu. Conditions and authorizations. Permitted is authorized to possess, retain, transport, transfer, or export live specimens of Argentine black and white tegu, including their color morphs, hybrids, that were in possession prior to August 1st of 2022. For those of you that don't know, I received Hades uh, at two weeks old in August, or I wanna say it was a little after August, but he was hatched in August um, from Stephen Atkins of Wildwood Reptiles. If you want, check him out. He's over in Tennessee. Phenomenal animals. Shout out to Stephen. Um, so that, with that being said, I am able to keep him, I am able to transport him. If he needs to go to the vet, I can do that. If I were to move, potentially, I can take him with me. As long as the state doesn't already have a ban, take this permit with me, tell them I have, you know, prior evidence of permitting and having him. I mean, and this is, this is proof that I've had him for X amount of time and proof that I have a permit to keep and possess him. Uh, permittee shall not import live specimens, so I cannot get more from Stephen or from anyone else. North Carolina can no longer have any more tegus. So basically, when all of the tegus in North Carolina pass, there will be no more tegus in North Carolina. It's very unfortunate. I mean, I purchased him to be able to breed him and to do educational stuff with him. And thankfully, I can still do educational stuff with him and that's what we plan to do we plan on working with him a little bit more we did a show this past weekend and he was a little crazy he did well at the beginning but i think he he warmed up and just like he does now he wants to do his own thing he doesn't uh 
he doesn't want to be confined or restricted. But overall, I think he did really well. All specimens must be possessed and housed in an escape-proof facility. He is not outside, so I don't have to worry about him digging out. Uh, he is in this grow tent, which is pretty secure. Um, however, I would like to change it up. I would like to do a more secure wooden enclosure in the future, or even PVC. Um, I know a few people in the area that create PVC enclosures, so hopefully we'll be able to get something for him, be able to set him up. I do really like this enclosure, though. The permitting must employ adequate safeguards against accidental escape at all times during possession and transportation of specimens. So when I do transport him like I did this past weekend or when I have to take him to the vet, I actually put him in a cat carrier with this permit attached to the bottom of it. That way, if anything should happen, if I should get stopped, um, I have proof. You always got to have proof. Otherwise, what are you going to do? Specimens held under this permit shall be re not be released into the wild at any time for any purpose. Obviously, that would be bad if he were to get out. Uh, if we were to release him, that would be a, a big no-no. Um, a, for starters, they can't survive. Uh, our winters here get too cold, unlike that in Argentina or some of the southern states where they have established, like southern, southern, southern Florida, where they have established. Yeah, they, 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 don't, they don't get the snow that we do. I mean, they don't get... 20 degree temperatures. It's, it's not possible. I mean, they can brumate, they can tolerate pretty cool temperatures, but nothing that cold for three, four months. It's, it's just ridiculous that this has happened. The permit is issued, uh, the permit is, was based on the requirements of the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission. It's a duty of the permittee to ensure that they're in compliance with all additional applicable local, state, and federal laws. So we are in compliance. Um, that's 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 it. It's a bummer that this happened, but I am super grateful. Uh, one of the big things that when this came out, there was not a whole lot of information going around. We weren't sure if they were going to permit a grandfather permit. We had no idea. Everybody was freaking out. Uh, unfortunately, there was a ton of people rehoming their tegus due to this out of state, and it's. It's unfortunate, but people got to do what they got to do, what they thought was necessary. Um, it's just, you got to think rationally. You got to wait it out. You got to do what you got to do uh, to be able to keep your animals. Legally, that is. That's, uh, we got to follow the rules. We got to follow the laws. And uh, we got to speak up to what's what's been going on, especially, especially something like this. I mean... Experts, their experts were saying that they can establish here. It's, it's not possible. It's just not. Look at this guy. So like I said, I'm super grateful for the grandfather permit. Um, I'm going to try to find out some information about... Uh, getting an educational permit, I guess, becoming an educational entity to be able to take him out, to showcase him, to help educate the public, and to be able to work with him. I mean, for a little bit there, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep him. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to keep him to begin with, but now that I am, uh, I guess I got a second wind, uh, a second chance, second opportunity. So I'm going to work with him and hopefully bring awareness to what's been going on and uh, these incredible animals. Well, that's going to be it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, if you like this video, check out more on the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.